Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 202106. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2021, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2006 Java IDE, Java 16 support is now built in. No need to install it via the marketplace anymore. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JRE to use from a huge list that now goes up to Java 16. You can still code in Java 11 or 8 or lower, even when running Eclipse with a Java 16 that is now embedded in most Eclipse 2021-06 IDEs, or when running Eclipse with Java 11 or higher installed on your system. By the way, in the new Java project dialog, there is now a checkbox whether to create the module info Java file, whose state will be remembered for the next time you create a new Java project. Uncheck the checkbox to skip the dialog that asks for the module name. In Java 16, pattern matching for instance of and records are now final. Sealed classes are still a preview feature of Java 16 which means that you can now use pattern matching for instance of in production code. There is a cleanup to apply this feature to existing code, as we will see later. Also records, for which Eclipse offers a dialog to create one, can now be used in production code. In contrast, Sealed classes should not be used in production code yet. To try out sealed classes, turn on the preview features, for example via the quick fix, Control 1, that Eclipse provides at the word sealed. Eclipse also provides quick fixes to create a permitted but not yet existing class or interface. And a quick fix to add one of the required modifiers final sealed or non-sealed to it. That's it for Java 16. Let's have a look at the improvements independent of the Java version used. There are a bunch of new cleanup functions in the release once again. 12 new cleanups besides fixes and improvements for the old ones. There are now 16 instead of 8 cleanups pre-selected in the built-in profile, twice as many as before. These cleanups are recommended and a good start as they are safe, not altering the code, and stable, without known issues. Let's go quickly through the list of the 12 new cleanup functions. There are one new function in the new Java feature tab, plus the already mentioned pattern matching for instance of cleanup, which was introduced in the previous release for Java 15 with preview features enabled. Three new functions to optimize your code for better performance, one new code style function, three functions to remove duplicate code, and four functions to remove unnecessary code. Apart from these new cleanups, already existing cleanups have been improved to correctly handle all cases and to apply them to more cases. In the Java Feature tab, pattern matching, for instance, of is now available for Java 16. And the new Replace System Property with Constant Cleanup can be used for Java 7 or higher, for the File Separator, for the Path Separator, for the Line Separator, for the File Encoding and for Boolean Properties. The three new optimization functions are String is blank rather than String strip is empty is faster by not creating a strip string. In order to apply this cleanup also to trim if it's empty, you might consider to replace trim, which has already existed since the beginning with strip that has been introduced in Java 11 together with is blank. But watch out, trim and strip differ. Trim removes leading and trailing characters with an ASCII code up to 32, including some non-white space ASCII control characters and missing some Unicode white space characters whereas strip removes all and only leading and trailing white space. Value of rather than instantiation requires less memory. And primitive type rather than wrapper class when an object is not necessary and to not alter the behavior when the variable is guaranteed not to be null. The new function in the code style tab is use instance of keyword instead of class as instance. It's more common and easier to read, isn't it? 
The three functions in the duplicate code tab are operand factorization, when the operands are passive and primitive to not alter the behavior of the code, single if statement rather than duplicate blocks that fall through, which means that the duplicated blocks end with a return, break or continue statement, or like in this case, by throwing something. And pull out a duplicate if from an if else when and only when the if conditions are passive to not alter the behavior. And last but not least, the four new functions to remove unnecessary code are Boolean value rather than comparison, which is easier to read, isn't it? Don't use it if you think the opposite is not equal to false. Use an implicit comparator when possible. Removes a comparator given an anonymous class as lambda, as comparator comparing, as comparator natural order, or as null, when it is identical with the implicit comparator. Create array with curly when possible, which is only possible in the definition of a field or variable, but not for example here. And remove variable assignment before return, which is also shorter and easier to read, isn't it? In addition to these 12 new cleanups, the cleanups that have been improved are merge conditions of if-else, if-else that have the same blocks, which now also applies to nested if-else statements, and use string replace, which now detects and converts a plain string that is given as a regular expression in which all special chars are escaped, or via pattern quote respectively, matcher quote replacement, and which now uses character replace for one character strings. That's cool, isn't it? Apart from the Java 16 support and the cleanup functions, there are a couple of minor improvements for Java. When debugging, you can now directly hover over a chained variable to get its value. Before that, you had to look into the tree of the first item. Now even hovering the length of an array works. To create a local variable quick fix, control 1 has been improved to infer the variable type from a for each loop. In the Java search results, there is a new filter called in static imports, which is disabled by default. The existing in imports filter which is enabled by default, hides now non-static imports only. There are speed improvements in the Eclipse compiler for Java, noticeable when opening, importing or cleaning a project, especially when having many large projects. Apart from the Java-specific improvements, there are general platform improvements making coding in Eclipse easier, independent of the language used. In the terminal view, Web links can now be opened via control click. Control click also works to open a project file. In local terminals, the working directory will be remembered and restored next time Eclipse is started. Also the shell, its arguments and other settings will be remembered. On Windows, New Terminal and Show in Local Terminal are automatically populated with existing terminals of the Windows subsystem for Linux. Quick Search, Ctrl, Alt, Shift, L now shows the number of matching lines and mentions when the maximum number of results has been reached. The maximum number of results can be set in the Preferences, General, Quick search in the new Max Results field, which is set to 200 by default. In the Git support, resolving of conflicts when merging, rebasing or cherry picking has been improved. In the Git staging view, the type of conflict is displayed. M means modified on both sides. M slash D means modified on our side and deleted on their side d slash m means deleted on our side and modified on their side, and a means added on both sides, but with different content. The merge tool content is now pre-merged to ours by default. The content of the merge tool can be set in the preferences, 
version control, git. By default, the new option working tree pre-merge to ours is used, not last head anymore. In the merge tool, there is a new button hiding changes between current and ancestor. By default, when merging, the button is disabled, but enabled when rebasing or cherry picking, since the changes made on our side usually do not matter for rebasing or cherry picking. In the right click replace with menu, choosing the side on which a file was deleted and causing a conflict, will now delete the file and stage the deletion. Ours and theirs is now also available in the Project Explorer and the Package Explorer. In the right-click Replace with menu of files with conflicts. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2021. If you have missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!